Okay, you Colt collectors, take notice because we have your favorite, the Colt Single Action Army revolver here, and it's the true smoke wagon, as they used to call it. This is a really nice example that came out of a large collection that we were fortunate to buy up in the Northeast. And this one is, again, a really nice example of the kind of the cavalry model single action army revolver. Now, Colt began manufacturing these in about 1873, the single action army revolver. First generation went to about 1940, and there were approximately 64,000 of these made. This one is probably one of the most desirable models. This is an iconic revolver of the Old West after the Civil War. So this is a really, really nice example. Colt Signal Action Army, it's got a lot of attributes that, that are very, very desirable, and we're gonna kind of go into those. It's a 44 caliber, seven and a half inch barrel. It's what we call the cavalry model. This format or this form was issued to cavalry troops in the United States military during the Indian Wars and the Plains expansion period. These were used on a lot of military expeditions and outposts throughout our country. First of all, I'd like to show you is really, this is, this is what would set this one apart from a lot of the other ones. This designation on the side of the barrel, which it says, Colt Frontier Six Shooter on the side of the barrel. That's just a premium on a gun when you have that designation on the side of the barrel. A lot of them did not have that. As you can see, it's kind of what we call in the gray. It doesn't have a lot of blue finish. It's, it's an honest gun. Free blue finish has worn off over the years and it's left with a nice kind of like even gray patina. This gun was manufactured in 1881. So this is definitely in that period at the cusp of the 1870s, 1880s still. The West was really wild. This, this would be a gun that would be used out west or anywhere else in the country for that matter. A couple things I did want to point out also, you can see the remaining numbers that are matching on the cylinder right here. So not only does it have the matching frame, the matching butt, the matching trigger guard frame, it also has a matching cylinder, which is really nice to find. One thing that I cannot figure out here, which came on the gun, it says right here on the frame, 47 US. It's not a true Marshall gun. It's not stamped on the frame US like a Marshall inspected, Marshall made gun. But that, that says 47 US on the frame. And I don't know what that means. This is totally unresearched, this gun. We get a lot of guns through. We've just bought 100 guns, maybe 150 guns. Unfortunately, I don't have time to sit and research and, and every single piece, but that's an advantage for you because these pieces are unresearched. You can pull a factory letter. You can see where this gun went, who it was sent to. I don't know. Maybe it went to the 47th Cavalry somewhere. The only thing I, I know is this exists on here and it does not like, look like it was done yesterday or any time recently. It looks fairly old. They have these wood grips and these wood grips, these appear to be refinished, but I wanna point something out right here. Take a look here at the back of that back strap. You see the bruising? See the bruising in the wood and on the frame of the gun? That happened a long, long time ago. So it appears that these grips and the fit and finish on these grips is really tight. So I'm not sure if somebody refinished these or what the case is, but they've been on there forever, it looks like. The fit and finish around the top here, it's a little bit of space here, but other than that, they look pretty good. Colt Frontier 44 caliber revolver. Reason that was significant for that during the Old West is you had a 44 40 caliber Winchester rifle and you had a 44 caliber Colt single action army. You could use interchangeable ammo for both of them. You don't need two or three different kinds of ammunition for each gun that you're carrying. This basically simplified everything. And obviously the bigger the bore, the better in Colts. And this one is, is just about as good as it gets, the 44 caliber Frontier Six Shooter single action army. Obviously, this is an antique gun. Please don't try to go out and shoot this. This is strictly for its historical significance. We don't ever 
ever advise anybody to go out and try to fire these or use these or bring them to the range or anything. Just don't do it. These are very, very highly sought out. They're very collected. This type with the seven and a half inch barrel, the 4440 Frontier Six Shooter designation on the side of the barrel, all matching numbers. It just, it's really, it, it doesn't get much better than this. So if you are considering buying one, I wouldn't hesitate too much. This is the only one in this configuration that we have. We are fortunate to get this one. Let's try the action really quick. Okay, action works as it should, right? Not a lot of clicking going on there, but nice and tight. The cylinder is super tight. Not a lot of wobble. It, it holds up, it engages, it works as it should. The gate opens up, it's nice and tight. Hear that? The springs are all in order, and it's just a really, really nice example. So here you have it, the Colt Single Action Army Frontier Six Shooter from 1881, the iconic weapon of the West. It's just really a pleasure to see. It's a, a pleasure to offer it here, right on Rare Collectibles TV. This is item M1464, a Colt Single Action Army Frontier Six Shooter Revolver for only $5,995. Again, that's item M1464, a Colt Single Action Army Frontier Six Shooter Revolver for the collector-friendly price of just $5,995.